what they want you to think happened. What really happens on a daily basis overseas. Wilson Street in Boston, the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Many people have been injured in what witnesses are describing as two explosions. Bob Orr has told us at least a dozen, probably more persons have been They didn't even fucking stub a toe. Any confirmation at this point. You guys believe bullshit. Fatalities there. Wow. We now have on That's the phone, a fatality. CBS producer, Kylie, <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Hey Scott, I can tell you here at the marathon I was standing on Boylston in between Darby Listen to the and girl Esther, too talk. She sounds like, like she's on she's like know, Just look at this fucking fag. Look at that bullshit. Bullshit. Look at them. They're look at really people? Really? We basically ran into the second explosion. Really? It looks like it was coming out of the storefront. Um, really people? Suddenly, there were you gotta be done. Let's fuck. Look, where is his wounds? Because this is how they evacuated a crime scene, right? Bullshit. And guess what? It looked like a CO2 explosion, like when they do with the movies to add the CGI effects. Or they like, uh, it looked just like that. And the whole thing is. People could be around an explosion and still not get hurt. You gotta understand, they do it in Hollywood all the time. Alright, God bless you guys. Be safe. Hi everybody, this is Daniel. And I want another thing for you to remember is that in today's society, these people, the reason they do stuff like this is because they want your works, okay? They literally want you to think that you have power. Even a revolution now is a rigged revolution. Everything you see right now is played out bullshit. So it's like a Batman movie. Literally, when I fall the very, if you ever see the very first explosion they're talking about in the Boston thing, you'll see, and it, it, it looks like a CO2 explosion, and then they let a bunch of smoke out. Like it, it, and then the people like wail on the floor, like they got hit by shrapnel. Get the fuck out of here, people! You bomb the shit out of babies every day in Afghanistan. You got, you people act like you have an emotional fucking soul in your spirit. You're just. You like, you run after the dead and shit. You're fucking disgusting. And I'm not talking about my subscribers, I don't think. But like, the, the, the average citizen is just the emotional heathen and that's all it is. And it, it, the, the sad part about it is it's all lies. It's all bullshit. You guys are literally getting emotional, doing works over nothing. And it's, it's and it, what's messed up about it is it, that is against, it's gonna go against people like me, which are Christians. And um, that's pretty much all that I have to say. And that, it's true. I mean, they're, 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 they want to make this radical ideal of what a Christian is. And it's bullshit. A Christian is a relationship with God. And if you guys can't see that, then... But, like, um, my point being is that they want you to grab a knife, grab a gun, and think you have power. And that is deception. The only real power is Jesus Christ. And remember that. Because they don't want you to remember that. They want to take that away from you. And they want you to, you know... Be in this delusion of uh you know that man has power and somehow he's gonna give you more and more and your life's just gonna be wonderful and you know it's heaven which is pfft. trust me yeah your life will totally certain i don't even want to start all right god bless you guys be safe